Hey, motherfuckers. Hey, everybody. John the Other here. Uh, obviously. And I want to talk about um, the mythology surrounding women. I'm, you know, an old guy. I'm in my 40s. I grew up imbibing a social mythology about the nature of men and women that still persists today, although it's, it's slightly changed with the times. And that is this. All of the good things that we like about people, that they are compassionate and they're loving and they're caring and they're um, forgiving, all the nice, lovely stuff about human beings, we have this mythology that women have more of that, that it is more concentrated in women. Conversely, we also have this idea that all the kind of negative stuff, aggression, jealousy, and anger, and violence, and is more, uh, more condensed in men. That men are the repository of all those negative things, and women are the repository of all those positive things. Sugar and spice and everything nice, that's what little girls are made of, and you know how the rest of that goes. This idea has been present for millennia, for thousands of years. And it is visible in a great deal of modern feminist rhetoric, which is the modern state religion. Young men, particularly young men going through puberty and shortly after puberty in your 20s when you're still a hormone-addled zombie and an idiot. And I'm sorry if you're that age, but that's what you are. You're a hormone-addled, sex-obsessed zombie idiot. Don't feel bad. And that applies to men and women. But men have this idea about women that they are more embodying of all the lovely, nice things about human beings, and it's not true. It's a piece of mythology. It, what men do not get taught, I don't think their fathers teach them, I, I, certainly society, the, the social messaging doesn't teach young men, but it needs to, is that in that age of 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, when you are still swimming in sex hormones, young women, as they relate to young men, are not thinking beings. They are instinct and appetite driven by the id. I'm talking only to guys now. When you have some woman you are infatuated with, she's got those big Disney eyes and she's got nice clear skin, blonde hair or whatever, realize that her attraction to you is not based on a rational thinking process. It's based on that primitive part of the brain. If I was writing software to perform the same functions, I would call it the mating engine. And that means that she can go in a split second from being thinking you're the greatest thing since sliced apple pie with cheese on top, and in the next three seconds, you are the enemy. And there is no visible reason. She doesn't know any reason. You don't know any reason. And this isn't a thinking process. It's a low instinctual appetite level process. That when she decides to dispose of you, that is also not a thinking process. There's no conscience. There's no reason. You just went from being the best thing since sliced bread to the enemy to be destroyed with no remorse. This has always been the case all throughout history. The problem for you now is that we are in a society that is so eagerly pro-feminist, pro-female victim, that you will be ground up and disposed of with great dispatch regardless of facts or evidence. And it makes that very desirable, cute, cuddly, affectionate young woman who you are so enamored with, an extremely dangerous landmine that you should be wary of stepping on. Nobody is teaching young men this. They are teaching young men that young women are vessels filled with virtue, driven by appetite and instinct, and with the entire weight of our society and all the violence of the state behind them. And nobody is telling this to young men. Thanks very much for listening, and as always, have a lovely day.